Welcome back to the Ark Survival Guide. Today I am going to show you the easiest places to get metal on the Valgaro map. Now there is lots of metal all over the Valgaro map, but it is usually very dangerous to get your hands on it and normally found way up high on the mountains where you have to risk your life in order to get any metal. And it's usually very hard to get this metal safely back to your base so you can actually use it. Now I will release a video later on the best places to get the most metal on the Valgaro map, but this video is focused on really easy metal locations where you can quickly get off a boat or transport dino, grab as much metal as you need, and get it back to your base very safely and easily without really having to risk your life. And as usual, I will give you GPS coordinates, map location, and easy landmarks that you can use to find these easy metal locations from very far away on the Valgaro map. I will also show you some places where you can easily tame an Ankylosaurus, which will help you gather tons of metal at about 10 times the efficiency, so that will also be very helpful. Also in this guide, I will show you the easiest places to get crystal and obsidian on the Valgaro map, but once again I will release a better guide later which will show you the places that have the most crystal and obsidian on the entire Valgaro map. So be sure to subscribe to this channel and ring that bell for notifications so you will see when those videos come out as well. But if you watch this video, it will be incredibly helpful to show you exactly where to go to get the easiest metal, crystal, and obsidian on the Valgaro map. As an added bonus, I am going to show you a secret cave that has thousands and thousands of metal and ridiculous amounts of crystal, so be sure to watch this video until the very end. So let's get started. Now this first easy metal location on Valgaro is probably the best for most of you who start on Valgaro. Now this is right next to the Lone Island starting zone, which is the first default starting zone, which I actually recommend on starting there anyway. And I'll show you a really awesome reason the Lone Islands are amazing. Now you probably started on one of these islands and you've got this little peninsula that stretches out. And if you follow that straight to land, you've got this little plateau that sticks up off the beach and just on the other side of this hill is a little ravine and it is full of metal I mean check that out each of these kind of copper colored stones is a metal node and you can get tons of metal there another great feature of this spot is this ankylosaur you can get ankylosaurs right here and if you're about level 34 I think it is you can tame an ankylosaur make a saddle and use it to get ridiculous amounts of metal from these metal nodes and since it's like a block from the shore and I have never seen any dangerous dinosaurs in this ravine it's going to be a very easy safe place to get metal but if you come up to this ledge right here you can actually shoot tranquilizers or even rocks down on that ankylosaur and tame it without it actually being able to reach you and if anything dangerous does come down from the redwoods you can shoot down on it from safety and this is the location of our first easy metal nodes on the Valgaro map. Now we are here at the end of that same ravine, you can see the brontosaurus down there, and if you look at the top of this mountain, there's a fallen redwood tree and a waterfall, and at the very top of this peak is a good crystal deposit, and you can get a lot of crystal if you happen to have a flyer like a pteranodon. And uh, yeah, there you go, there's a lot of crystal spawns, and this is one of the easiest places to get your hands on crystal, as long as you're careful to fly high enough above the redwood tree trees because there are thylacoleos in the redwoods and those things can jump for about a block from any high redwood tree and they're pretty hard to spot when they're around so be careful but as you can see it's an easy flight from this mountain all the way down to even the lone islands or the beach so it's a pretty good spot if you just want to get some quick crystal and you happen to have a flyer on hand and here's the location of that mountain with the crystal on top right there 
Now here's another of my favorite easy metal locations on the Valgaro map, and it's right in the middle of the huge lake at the very middle of the map. We're actually not too far down the coast from that first location. You can see the lone islands off there in the distance. And if you go along the shore, you'll see this huge rock spire sticking out from this plateau. It's really easy to spot from very far away. Now there's a nice easy slope right here, and on on this beach, you will often find ankylosaurs. These guys are pretty easy to knock out because they're slow, but there's also a lot of good ledges around here that you can use to get above the ledge where the ankylosaur cannot reach you. But if you continue following this little ravine right here, it's got a nice canyon that goes all the way down, and as we get further down this ravine, we're going to find a lot of metal nodes. And there we go, we're starting to see some here. There's like a land bridge that goes up across this ravine and there are tons of metal nodes right here below the land bridge. It's easy to miss if you don't look for it but there's a lot of good metal here. There's also another ankylosaur down there below it right next to the metal and here's the location of the exact spot where there's the most metal. Now one of the things I love about this spot is it is right next to this plateau. This rock spire makes an amazing base location. It's right above the coast, so it's a good spot to park a boat. It's got this one very small land bridge leading up to that plateau, and if you wall off this bridge, the entire plateau is entirely safe, and you've got a lot of flat area to build on. And here's the location of this plateau, but it would be very easy for you to make a smithy base here with a bunch of forges and just grab a whole lot of metal, haul it a very short distance to your base and then get all the metal you needed refined and smelted and processed right here. So I highly recommend this spot as a really good base location on Valgaro. And if you're looking for a main base location, I've got an entire guide on some of my favorite base locations on the Valgaro map and check the link in the description for that video. Now this spot doesn't have a ton of metal, but it is really easy to access right from the beach, and it's actually right on Beach Zone 1 starting zone. So if you chose Beach Zone 1 because it sounded cool, it's actually a pretty cool spot, but it is a little bit more dangerous and it's a bit harder to get the metal because we do end up with some dangerous stuff spawning here. So we've got this uh, little stream with some waterfalls, and if we look just to the left of those waterfalls, We've got a couple of little metal nodes right here on this hill, so we're going to start seeing them right there. And there's not too many, but it is metal, and it's enough to get you started on some of your metal tools. Now, on the top of this little rock, right here on the edge, is some good crystal deposits. And this is probably the easiest place to pick up crystal. And as you can see, we are just to the north, just across the lake from the Lone Islands. So if you're on the Lone Islands, you can see them right there, then uh, it's an easy place to get crystal as well, and you can just take a boat over and run up the hill. Now there's a lot of dangerous stuff up here, like T-Rexes and Allosaurs, so be real careful when you're running around, but as long as you can avoid the predators, this is actually a great spot to pick up a little bit of crystal, which you're probably going to just need a bit early in the game. And if you spawn on the Lone Islands, it's a really short raft ride to get over here. There's no whales on Valgaro to attack your raft and you can just run up the hill and grab some easy crystal as long as you can avoid the T-Rexes. Now, as you progress in your Valgaro adventure, you're going to need more metal and lots of obsidian and crystal, too, and this spot is amazing for all of that. It's right next to this huge waterfall at the very corner of the lake, and if you park your boat on the beach here and head up this coast, you'll see there's a path that heads up the hill up into the mountains. And if you follow that path, which is a little bit dangerous, there are some Carnotaurs and T-Rexes around here, 
I actually spotted an alpha T-Rex during this, so be real careful while you're doing this. But if you follow this all the way up to the top of this mountain, there is an incredible amount of metal, crystal, and obsidian right next to this little mountain lake. Now you could even build a base on the little island in the middle of the lake, which you shouldn't run into as much dangerous stuff. But check this out. This is loaded with tons of metal, obsidian, and crystal all over this mountain. And the mountain itself does not have that many predators. I haven't seen any Argens up here, which are one of the worst things you can run into in the mountains. And uh, it's pretty clear once you get up to the actual top of the mountain. But check that out. There are dozens and dozens of metal nodes, and this is enough to get all the metal you need pretty much forever. So here's the location of all of these metal nodes, and this is just an amazing spot to get metal, crystal, and obsidian. You could also easily fly up here with a pteranodon once you have one, and grab little bits of crystal and obsidian as you need them, and then fly them back down to the coast. Now this is very dangerous, there's an alpha T-Rex down here, and they can really mess you up, but if you have a flyer, you might be able to get him to chase you off the edge of one of these cliffs, and then you don't have to deal with them. You can also build a base down here, and it's a really nice flat plateau for building a base where you can deliver your metal and smelt it down into metal ingots and carry it off. Now, if you build your base out of metal, it can actually hold up against an alpha attack. Stone, they will actually be able to break, but this is actually a great spot, and if you build a delivery chute, you can actually throw your parcels of metal down the cliff and then pick them up at the bottom and load them up onto a boat to carry anywhere in the map. So there are some great base locations right at the base of this mountain if you do want to live in this dangerous spot that's full of metal, crystal, and obsidian. This next spot is a good place to get some obsidian and crystal if you have a flyer. There's this really tall, sharp mountain peak, mostly white, and at the base of this mountain is a lot of obsidian. It's easy to spot from far away. There's also a little bit of crystal down here, and there's some good metal deposits too. But I highly recommend only coming here if you just want a bit of obsidian and crystal and you have a flyer, because it's very dangerous to get here on foot. A lot of dangerous dinos and you have to walk a long way to get up to this peak from the beach. Now if you are trying to get the obsidian because you want polymer, I can give you a much easier way to get that polymer. If you see in the distance there, there is the beach zone 1 area, there's those rock spires and those tan beaches, and I'll show you that in a second. Right off in the distance here, you can see that rock spire, right along that beach are tons of dead dolphins and turtles, and if you harvest the dolphins, you will get organic polymer, which is exactly the same as regular polymer, only it spoils. But if you grab a bunch of dolphins and make all the stuff you needed that polymer for, you can actually make all the things you need without even having to get obsidian, and it saves you a ton of metal too. So I highly recommend just doing that if you're looking for polymer. Now, these waterfalls up here, at the top of the waterfalls, there's actually a lot of metal, and you can see those metal nodes right there. There's tons of them along this river, too. But this area is pretty dangerous, so I would highly recommend going to the spot that I showed you just before this one if you want to get tons of metal, crystal, and obsidian. So now I'll show you that bonus location that's full of ridiculous amounts of crystal and metal. Now this next bonus location is not an easy metal location, but it's a place to get tons of metal. As you can see, it's on the very edge of the tundra, which is quite dangerous. One does not simply walk to this area, but if you can get here, there's this place with these huge waterfalls and these big, tall, white spires of rock, and right around here are actually some decent places to build bases, a lot of flat plateaus up here. But if you go to these waterfalls and you look on the left-hand fall, about, oh, I don't know, halfway up the fall, there is a secret entrance that you can fly into. It's really hard to spot. But I think, there we go, perfect. 
inside this cave are crazy amounts of metal and crystal, like all you will ever need. It's also a great secret base location, but remember, any time you build a base, it will block all of the respawns for every resource, like metal and crystal, for about the distance of 12 foundations. So be careful with that if you're actually planning to build any bases. Well, I hope this guide helped you find some of the easiest locations to get metal on the Valgaro map. If it helped you, please mash that like button because that helps me a lot too. And be sure to subscribe to this channel and ring that bell for notifications because I am already working on another guide for all of the best metal locations on Valgaro where you can get the largest quantities of metal nodes and that will be incredibly helpful for you. I'm also working on guides for where to find crystal, obsidian, pearls, oil, and all kinds of other helpful resources on the new Valgaro map and you won't want to miss out on any of that. Also let me know in the comments where your favorite metal locations on Valgaro are and if you can give me some coordinates that will actually help me a lot with the new video I'm working on for all of the best metal locations on Valgaro. And I love it when you guys help me learn about ARC too. And check the description of this video for links that will help you enjoy your adventures on the new Valgaro map, and you'll find a link to my other YouTube channel where my wife and I play co-op games on Nintendo Switch together, and that's a whole lot of fun. And it would help us out a lot if you subscribe over there too. So I can't wait until you can all play Valgaro on the 19th of July, Valgaro will release on consoles, and that is official, so if you're playing Xbox One or PS4, look out for that Valgaro DLC in the store, which should be showing up on July 19th after 1pm. But I hope these videos are making it easier to wait until you can go on your own adventures on Valgaro. So I'll see you in the next video! Thanks so much for watching this video from the ARK Survival Guide. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful, please like this video and subscribe to our channel so we can bring you more great guides like this one. ARK is an amazing game, but there is so much to learn before you can really enjoy it. We are dedicated to bringing you high quality guides, tutorials, and let's play videos that are fun, helpful, clean, and suitable for the entire family. There's a tutorial in this series for everything we have done so far in this video. Check out these playlists for more episodes from this series and other guides to help you enjoy your journey on ARC.